Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome once again to our Fairfield Presbyterian Church. Uh, we have just finished our men's um, morning breakfast, and we discussed the grace of God in the mer- through the merit of Christ. And we're sitting here with Pastor Chris, and we're going to just find out a little preview of what we have this Lord's Day. Sure, sure. So we're dealing with the sobering passage. Uh, John the Baptist has been imprisoned by Herod, and and now uh, we're told the story of his martyrdom mm. and, and how he is brutally executed. Uh, obviously, with Mark including this in the gospel, we want to understand why he put it there, but also why he put it where he put it. it it's sort of right in between when Jesus sends out the apostles to preach. And then we have the story of John the Baptist, and then uh, we have them coming back. So obviously, it's tucked in the middle there, mm. and we want to kind of discern, okay, what's what's going on? Sunday night, we returned to the doctrine of election. We looked at Ephesians 1 last week. By the way, that's 6 o'clock in the evening. Very informal service. We sing uh, a lot. We uh course read the scriptures and then I I teach slash preach sometimes uh entertain questions if I'm in the mood Mm. so um we looked at Ephesians 1 and Romans 9 last week about the doctrine of election and I want to what I want to do this week is I want to entertain some of the common objections to election that that yes and so I want to address those yes good good there's a lot of questions regarding election and a lot of what we do as Christians to defend that the scriptures throughout. Sure, sure. And, and I think it's because we're sending this out, other people are hearing it. They, they don't need to understand. While, while we see the doctrine of election, God's sovereignty in choosing his people in Christ before the foundation of the world, we see that as a precious doctrine, but we do not see that as the essence of salvation. Correct. Someone can genuinely believe in Christ, trust in Christ, be following Christ, mm-hmm. and yet they're not clear on and that doctrine. Exactly. They may even be opposed to it, even though it's a biblical teaching. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Essentials, necessary. Yeah. Not essentials, we can, yeah. we can disagree on. Amen. So there you have it, brothers and sisters. We also want to uh, welcome you to our... Uh, Sunday school, which is around 1120 uh, after our morning worship, after right? Morning Steve worship. Lawson taking us through um, the Paul's letter to the Philippians. The last two weeks, we've had really good updates from two of our missionaries. Yes. Yes. And so is we enjoyed those thoroughly. Absolutely. And, and both good presentations, but we're sort of chomping at the bit to get back <laughs> to, uh, to those Lawson. lessons. Yeah, absolutely. So. Tori and I hope uh, you can enjoy, uh, you can join us for worship. If you can't be with us, be somewhere where the gospel is being being preached. preached. Absolutely. Amen. Amen, brother. Good stuff. High five on that. (laughs) All right.